Uh, first pr couple of practice has been great, actually. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying to see how they're growing with that one voice being in the room. There um, feels like a family in there, to tell you the truth. Uh, everybody's helping each other out, making sure everybody's on the same page. So, I mean, just brothers helping out brothers, but uh, everything's been great so far. Robert Kelly. I was curious how your preview you guys are doing they're they're all, they're all doing they're doing well they're doing well still some technique things um, we got to clean up but as far as them having the athletic ability being um, physical um, they're just what we need here so I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly um, surprised actually for you I think it's covering you're coaching the secondary it's, it's been an adjustment um, but it, it is good to actually have the whole room again because I mean they're they're hearing one person talk so they all get the same um, communication but I mean it, it's been good you have to organize a little bit you know and um, coach Thack has helped me a little bit in Indy I mean I, we, we sit down and talk before practice and I give him what I want to be done um, during that little time he does have them so but it, it, it's been good and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Rob, you talked about finding a leader for He's doing a phenomenal job. He is, um, he's vocal. I mean, he goes out, he practices the right way. He tries to use technique fundamentals. Um, he's holding everybody accountable. If he sees something not going right, he he confronts and, and, and demands that we, we get it the right way because that's the only way we're going to be successful. So he has been a, a, a good guy in, in that room along with um, Taylor King and um, also um, Miles Sim. So they, those those three guys have um, emerged right now as the as the three leaders in the room. Actually, I know you speaking of Jake King and, and also Eric Allen both did play in their standards last year. Kind of what do you expect from them? I know that they're the experienced guys that take the position. But they think kind of seeing them hit that next level. Right? Uh, just they they they, they got to just make sure everybody's on the room on, on the right page. Um, I tell them I tell them all the time they're the parents and. Everybody on the outside are, are the kids, so they, they, they know that they um, have the ability to you know, run that back in and, and, and be confident in doing that because they, they are putting in the work in the, uh, in the meeting room and they're, they're going out on the field actually and, and doing a, re a really good job. So I can't say DA, I didn't mention him as one of the leaders, but he is emerging as, as one of the leaders as well. He, he's energetic every day. I mean, he's hungry to learn ball. He's, 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 he wants to get better every day and it's, it's, it's a great thing to see. Uh, it, 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 we were just um, trying to do route concepts. We put a new call in today, so we wanted to make sure we had all the techniques and calls and all that thing, all those things aligned. And as far as like who was, you said, who was running the routes, uh, we just said, I mean, nobody's above the program. It don't, I don't matter who you are, you can run a route. So you know, we're not just going to throw, say, a walk on or anybody out there. I mean, everybody's responsible for this team, so everybody should be putting in the work, no matter how big or small it is. So. Which I, I think that's great that Coach Collins has uh, implemented into the program. What well, you uh, notice on the sidelines when guys are coming off the field, there all there seems to be a lot of guys talking to each other. You know, you should be here, you should be there. I imagine that's a, a, a positive thing. Very saying. positive, man. Player led, man. This, this this team has to be player led for it to be successful. I mean, I can sit up here and talk to them all day, but if their peers aren't telling them or correcting them or praising them, then it's, it's not going to work. So in my room, I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm growing a, a, a room of leaders, a, a room that's not scared to, you know, if they see something, um, to, you know, say something. So um, it's, it's, it's going well right now. I was just curious about Kenny Otto's defense last year, but also on the series injury. What are you seeing from them and your expectations and also where he's coming from? I, I, re I really enjoy watching Kenyatta. Um, Form as well. He's he's got a huge upside. I mean, the, the kid is long. He can run. Um, he's physical. Um, he loves ball, which is always the best thing that you can have a kid that loves ball. So um, he's he's doing he's doing well. I think he's progressing well, um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what what the future holds for him. Kevin, you just heard lost a lot of starters from last 
a lot of games and obviously you're only for practice in, I guess. But what do you sense kind of what's your sense that I think we have a really good back end, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's always going to be, um, come, it's going to come down to technique and, technique and fundamentals. Um, that's any secondary in the country. If you don't have good technique and fundamentals and having great, great eye discipline, I don't care how good you are, you're not, you're not, you're not going to get things done. So that's what I'm constantly preaching every day, um, those three things. And it's, it's, it's showing up so far, and I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. Time for a few more, Rob. You're, you're sliding some guys in and out of the position. Uh, what are you seeing from the top? Uh, we're, we're just, we're just, there's no comedy. We're, we're out working. We're, we're just out working. And I, was, I want guys that, most of the guys in no position because you never know who may go down. So that's, that's been my, um, <clears throat> my um, strategy so far, just to make sure um, guys know most of the positions because you never know when, you know, somebody might go down. Go I'm curious about Jalen Marshall's guy. This one looks pretty impressive. Looks amazing, right? right? He's still in high school. Kind of what do you see from him? What are your expectations? I think he's going to be a really good player when, when it's all said and done. I mean, because again, he loves the game. He loves the game. He loves college, actually. He, he loves this environment. So he's, he's actually thriving in this environment. I think that's good for him. And um, I think, when it, like I said, when it's all said and done, he's going to be a really good player. Kevin, you want to wrap us up? Yeah. Um, we talked to you last time you were asking about you know, what brought you to coaching. You think a lot of people are curious. Was there someone along your way that? Uh, well, my high school coach, um, Coach Mark Stroud, just his message that he gave to me. Every, I mean, every 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 practice. I mean, he doesn't look like me, but just um, just um, <clears throat> just everything I learned from him. And then whenever I got with um, Coach Mel Tucker, I mean, kind of it kind of really, you know, it, it accelerated from there. And just learning from him and learning how he treats people and how he he um, looks, just views the game. It's, 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 it's been um, good for me, and um, it's been good for my career. So I really appreciate all I've learned from him, and um, I continue to learn from him. Um, we, we still talk, so I mean, it's, it's a good thing. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.